All right, class, let's look at another uh, volume of revolution on lines that are not the X and Y axis. So this one does have the X and Y axis in it, but it's got, you know, several other, other lines in there as well. So um, what I always do on these is I start off by just graphing the region so I know what they're talking about. So there are the three lines in, in question here. Uh, and I can see that they're going between 0 and 3 on the X axis. So what I like to do is just type in this restriction and the way that you do that is just set brackets zero less than as soon as you press less than you can do just the equal sign and it'll make the less than or equal to you can also get them down there in the uh, the keyboard icon down here at the bottom you can do the less than or equal to there as well uh, but if you just take that and then copy it on those two lines right there and then for this one, just bound it with the Y's. So that it, the height there is 6, and obviously there is 0. So instead of 0 to 3 for X, it's 0 to 6 for Y. All right, so there's the region. And then the things that we're going to bound it around are, are changing. So we're going to use that to, uh, to come up with what these volumes of revolution would look like to help us with the setup. All right, so the first thing that tells us to go around is the y-axis. Okay, so if I did the y-axis, just mirror image, it's going to look something like that. That's obviously not perfect. Uh, but shells, for, for it to be cylindrical shells, I can't make them be this way. That would be washers, right? That would look like the washer method. So I have to use shells. So that means that they're going to go this way and go around, and the mirror image will be over there, and they're going to look like that. So I always say that these kind of look like air filters if you've ever seen an air, air filter that goes around uh, you know, something like a, a lawnmower or like a shop vac or something like that uh, anyway that's what kind of what these shells are going to look like and the heights of these shells are given by the function the line all right this is the y equals 2x line all right when we do these the the, the way that we calculate the um, the volume is this is the shell method so this is what one of the cylindrical shells looks like. And, it, and it, the idea is if I cut it and rolled it out flat, I would have, you know, it, look, it would kind of look like a board. Obviously, be some kind of um, rubbery material for it to be able to roll out flat like this. But if I were to cut that and roll it out, the, the distance around, that would be this right here, or that would be the circumference of that circle. So that's 2 pi r. And then this thickness right here, would be the thickness of one of these rectangles. That was always like the delta x when we did Riemann sums. And then the uh, other dimension would be this, which we're looking at right there. And that's like you know the height, the perpendicular height. Um, but if you notice the radius, like out to where I am, that radius is x. That's the x coordinate of where I am. And then the height is given by the function whatever the function is so that height is like f of x so as long as we're touching you know, as long as we're going around like the x or y axis this was just the a to b 2 pi r or whatever the radius is all right times the height and that height was given by the function and then dx okay it's just what is you know what's what's giving us the radius is it the um uh, you know, is it just the x-axis, or sorry, is it just where we are on the x-axis, just the x-coordinate? Or if it's you know, not not one of these lines, then we have to make an adjustment. So the way that they've got it written here is the shell height instead of f of x, and then dx, just because, again, these things can, can vary. And again, it does not have to be x. It can be x or y. So I'll put a little box there. But anyway, that's that's basically the setup. For, for how you're going to do these and the logic behind it. All right, so again, if I'm going around the y-axis with these shells that look like that, this volume is going to be 0 to 3, All right? The radius, like where am I, you know, where how, how far away am I uh, rotating these uh, rectangles? It's given by an x-coordinate because that's 0. So however far over, you know, if I'm going to here, it's 3. If I'm here, it's 2. If I'm here, it's 1. But if I'm any number on there, it's just whatever value on the x-axis I am. 
So my shell radius is X. I forgot the 2 pi, sorry. So my shell radius is X. And then my shell height is given by you know, plugging X into the function. So it's that line Y equals 2X. All right, so simplifying that, I got a 2 times 2 is 4 pi. X times X is X squared dx would be the volume using that method. All right, for part B, it says the line x equals 8. All right, so x equals 8 would be way out here. And then I would have, again, that same shape on the other side, mirror image away from, from 8. So now, again, the radius is given by, it's, it's always relative to the axis of revolution. So 8 is where I'm revolving this. So I'm going to have my shells you know, that are in this region between 0 and 3. You know, if that, again, if that's some x coordinate between 0 and 3. What is the radius? Again, it's always upper minus lower. So that's going to be 8 minus x. Right? And then the shell height, again, is still going to be the same thing as it was before. It is 2x. But again, we're making the adjustment for the fact that in this region, the radius that, that's going to be created, you know, if I make x there, it's a longer radius. 8 minus you know, 1 is, is 7. 8 minus 3 is 5. So subtracting uh, the x coordinate from a number in here from 8 is going to give us the radius. So again, simplifying that, it's going to look like 0 to 3, All right, 2 pi, 8 minus x times 2x dx. All this is multiplication, so it can be simplified. 2 times 2 is 4 pi. I distribute the x through. I'll have 8x minus x squared. Right? And then when you're integrating that, again, I just take the 4 pi onto the outside. But there would be the, the setup for part B. All right, part C. Now this is x equals negative 7. So there's 0, there's 3. Let's say there's negative 7. That's our axis of rotation. So we're going to have you know, something like that is the mirror image on the other side. And again, this is where my region starts. So this is, again, where my x is. So what is the radius, again, for, for any value in there, for any x that I pick? Now x is the bigger number, minus negative 7. Okay, it's always larger, larger up and down would be upper minus lower, left and right like this. It's, you know, rightmost minus leftmost. So it's x minus negative 7, which is x plus 7. All right, and again, think about it. If, if we're at 0, what's the radius? The radius is 0 plus 7, or 7 units. If we're at 3, what's the radius? It's negative 7 to 3 is 10 units, 3 plus 7. So that's given us the radius for all the values of x in there. We're just adding 7 to it because we're 7 units over to the left. All right, and then what's the shell height? Is? Again, it's always that 2x. So when we do this setup again, we're going to have 0 to 3, 2 pi. Our shell radius is x plus 7. Our shell height is 2x again. But simplifying, I'll have 4 pi again. And then the x will go through, will give us x squared plus 7x. So there will be our volume of revolution there. Now, when I switch this to uh, horizontal axis of rotation, so the x-axis here, it's a horizontal axis of rotation. Um, this, first of all, this will have to switch to dy. And then we also need to make sure we understand, because we're going around the x-axis like this, if we made the rectangles vertical, that's the disk method. And that means that we're not using the shell method. So we have to do these as horizontal rectangles for these to be cylindrical shells. So that's why, again, this is a, a change in Y for that, that part of it, that, that side of the rectangle. So that's why we're, we're doing this dy. Okay. Now, what is the, the radius uh, of you know, what we're rotating here. Well, it's again just going to be that Y coordinate. So this is going to be A to B. Well, instead of 0 to 3, now because we're doing Y, we're going between 0 and 5. 2 pi. The shell radius is, again, it's just the Y coordinate where we're doing our rotation. And then the shell height. Okay, again, this is 
y equals 2x, right? But we need this in terms of y's. So this is x equals y over 2 dy. So again, the 2's here are going to cancel. This gives me just pi times y squared dy. So there is the shell method rotating this around the, the x-axis. All right, same, same idea, except it's just rotating around a horizontal line this time. So there's my representative rectangle for some y that's in between 0 and 5. So if I rotate that around the line y equals 7, I'll end up here somewhere. And again, there's going to be those shells, those filter-looking shapes. And um, again, the radius is relative to this line, y equals 7. So what is the radius here? Well, again, it's upper minus lower. So it's 7 minus the y-coordinate in between 0 and 5. So 7 minus y is the shell radius. Again, if, the, if we're all the way down at 0, because we're going between 0 and 5, we're all the way down at 0, the radius is 7 units. If we're at 5, you know what, I'm sorry, that should, that should have been a 6 on the last problem. I'm sorry, I just saw the 5 and, and, and put that down, so that should have been a 6 there. Um, so this would be 0 to 6, 2 pi. And then the shell height, again, is that y over 2, right? And that's a 6, not a b. All right, simplifying. So the 2's cancel again. So we got a pi times 7y minus y squared dy. So there's the, the integral that you, you would solve to find that volume of revolution. And then the last one, if I have y equals negative 4, and there's some y in between 0 and 5, this time I'm rotating down and around this way, so I'd end up down here somewhere when I did that rotation. So again, this is uh, the radius that we're being asked to come up with. So it's my y-coordinate minus the y-coordinate, upper minus lower. So it's y minus negative 4, which would be y plus 4. So there's the setup again. So 6, 0, the 2's are going to cancel. Pi times y squared plus 4y. Okay, so that's the big thing is your radius, you know, when it's, talking about this radius it's relative to the axis of rotation you've got to figure out what uh, how far up and down or left and right again if it was a horizontal one um, I'm I'm going relative to the radius line or the axis of rotation line